So yes, as you can tell by the title of this video, it is time to say goodbye to an old friend. So, um, my old girl has been with me for quite a while, for roughly my first 15,000 subscribers I've had her, so, for quite a few years, but it's time to let her go. So, um, it kind of hurts, it kind of hurts inside. Sorry about the traffic noise, but we are right alongside the highway here, so, um, yeah, I wait for some of this traffic to go by. Yeah, so, you know, I've had her for quite a few years. I even had her back when I lived on the farm. That's the main reason I had her. You know, I used to have a little, like, a little goat farm, and, uh, you know, I'd use her to haul hay and feed the goats. And, of course, when I started my YouTube channel, I had her as well, so, um, but it's time to, it's time to let her go. We've had some difficulties, um, some issues. She left me stranded almost again up in Connecticut, so, um, yeah. She's not quite suited for, um, what I'm doing right now either in some ways, so. But she's old, she's ready to retire, she's tired, so, yeah. Um, but the reason for this video is I am going to offer her, you know, if any of you are interested in having this old truck, um, you can uh, let me know, you can make an offer on it. Um, I'll be entirely honest with you um, about some things concerning her, so we'll get to that in a moment. I'm not even actually sure she'll start right now, so, because she was having some issues with starting, so, but I'll talk to you about that in a moment. Um, if you're interested in having this truck for whatever reason, um, just have a project truck or something to drive around for a little bit, you can pay uh, watch the video to the end because I'll talk more about that in the end. So, but uh, yeah, I know a lot of you love this truck. I do too. Um, she's been with us for quite a while, so you've seen her in all my videos almost. So, but time to say goodbye. And if you're interested in who is replacing her as my vehicle, it's I got a 2014 Jeep Patriot over here. I just got so this is my new uh, YouTube vehicle for traveling and stuff so I've always kind of wanted a Jeep so I finally got one um, however you will still see the truck in future videos there's a backlog to my videos, so quite a from the past month or so you'll still see the truck in my videos for for a little bit of a while maybe another month or so so it's this isn't goodbye goodbye so you'll still see her for a little while like I said so anyway so I'm going to go into a little bit, uh, like I said, if you're interested in having her, I'm going to go a little bit into uh, what's wrong with her and stuff like that. And if you are interested in having this truck, you know, you can make me an offer. And, uh, of course, to be fair, you know, whoever offers the most money will get the, will get the truck. So, and if two people make the same offer, I'll let both people know. And then, you know, you'll have to offer more or whatever. So, um, of course, you can say something in the comments or you can private message me, you know, email me or uh, a Facebook message on my, my Facebook page. So. And, you know, I'm only, I'm only going to wait if I, you know, I'll, I'll contact the highest offer, person who makes the highest, I'll contact them, but I'm only going to wait so long, you know, if I have to wait over a week for you to get back to me, I'm just going to offer it to the uh, next person. So. All right. Uh, let's walk around the truck and I'll show you a little bit some problems that she has and stuff like that. All right, so let's have a walk around and we'll look at some things about the truck here. She is inspected through uh, April of 2020 there, you can see. Um, her main, one of the main problems she has is rust issues, as you can see. And if I open the door here, there's a ton of rust, you know, underneath this area right here. Of course, some of what you're seeing is, in the past I filled her with expanding foam just to fill the gaps and voids. And that worked for a while, but... She just keeps rusting out more and more. There's just pieces falling out everywhere. So that's her big thing. And she will not, because of this rust, she won't pass inspection um, following year here. That's what I was told. So. so you have this rust. And of course there's rust above the wheel well because I quick threw some bond on this part. Because that's kind of to come off there. She got a little fender bender back there. And, of course, you can see there's more rust issues back here. And the same deal on this side, just not as bad, but it's all rusted out underneath there as well. 
course, another big thing was the starter. Um, like I said, I was up in Connecticut. I did a high point in Connecticut a little while ago, and uh, she wouldn't start when I got back down from the trip. She did start eventually, but it sounded like the uh, starter going bad again. And so that was about two weeks ago. Since then, I haven't I haven't tried to start her since. She did start. That's traffic. She did start, and I drove straight home without stopping in case she didn't start again. So, and since then I haven't tried. So, um, I'm gonna try here. See what happens. So, see what happens. Oops, if I can put the key in right. Let's see what happens. Okay, so she does start, this time at least. There's half a tank of gas here too, so. All right, well, I think she would start actually. Right? So. There's no guarantee that she'll, there's no, if you come to pick her, when you come to pick her up, if you, if you buy her, um, there's no guarantee that she will start when you come, so just keep that in mind as well. So if you are, the, if you do end up being the person who gets this vehicle, I'm not delivering it to you. You have to come to me. Um, I live in Berks County, Pennsylvania, here in southeastern Pennsylvania, so keep that in mind. Um, it's not, she's not worth coming any large distance for. So, like I say, if you are interested, if you're more local to the area and you're interested in having this truck, like I said, go ahead and let me know in the comments. Um, like I said, you have to come get her yourself. I'm not going to bring it to you. And of course, I will, you know, I will private message you my address. I'm not going to give it down <laughs> this video, obviously. So, uh, and if she's as is, like I said, she did start now, but just no, be prepared for that. She may not start when you come to get her, so be prepared for that as well. So, um, so yeah, she's still purring. The engine, it actually runs really well. The engine was replaced back in 2010 or 2011, so the truck itself has, let's see here, about 206 thousand miles on it down there so that's it so this video like I said has two purposes it's to say goodbye to our friend back there uh, it's also like I said if you are interested in having it for yourself um, just make an offer like I said I'll let whoever offers the most on it they can be the person to have it um, and I'm not, I'm not expecting anything big it's not worth thousands and thousands of dollars so anyway whatever you want to offer on it go for it um, not sure what else to say it's kind of a bittersweet moment just kind of letting go of something that you've been with for so long so anyway if you have any other questions obviously you can ask me in the comments and I'll get back to you on those so all right say so we'll get one last look at our old friend here